Okay, well, we're going to show you how we do the Dolce flip. Dolce has these really long eyelashes. I'm going to make sure I pull the eyelashes out so we don't tie them up. So we're going to come in from behind. And loop it pretty. Three. These are the top line pet four. I did it five times. So after you do it, it's going to look a little bit droopy, but that's okay. I'm going to hold, press down on the eyes, not on the eyes, but on the skull, and loosen, loosen a little bit. In the back, I'm going to loosen and loosen. And then we'll take the top knot tool and we'll put it right in the back in the center, coming through the front by her nose. And you will pull the hair through and flip it. And after you flip it, you'll tighten. But you're going to want to loosen this back part here. The back part, um, you don't want it pulling on their skull. So I like to loosen it and then tighten, loosen, and then tighten. And that's the Dolce Flip. So this is on Amazon. It comes in several colors. You do not want to use the Topsy Tail tool because it is too thick. So we will show you how we do that again. In a half circle. Make sure you don't get the lashes if your dog has lashes. We'll get a top knot band. Come in from behind and we'll go one, two, three, four, and I think I might want to go one more. Five. So that's five. Loosen it this way and then hold down the back of the hair and loosen, loosen the back by pulling to the left just tugging rather than pulling. And then I'm going to take the end of my top knot comb and I'm going to loosen the hair on the eyes here and loosen the hair. If you don't loosen the hair here and make sure there's nothing too tight, they'll scratch at it and then your beautiful Dolce top knot flip will come undone. So I like to loosen all the hairs, just make sure there's nothing pulling. And here's the flip again. You're going to go right in the middle, come up right through the front, hold it through, you'll grab the hair, and then you'll pull it through. Pull it through, release, and you'll pull, tighten. You're going to loosen a little bit the back so the skin of the skull isn't being pulled. And tighten. And you'll loosen again. And then tighten. And sometimes for pictures, there'll be loose hairs. Um, I haven't been able to do a tutorial on the sh premium shell products, but they have a styling conditioning gel. And it smells like pina colada. The dogs really love the smell. And I can put some of this on my finger and stick some of the loose hairs um, that are if I want to take pictures. So she's got a few loose hairs here, and I can just kind of dot this on and um, it's not a strong hold. It doesn't flake, but it kind of um, opens up her eyes by just making the loose hairs sit down. You can also use a, a clip too. And why don't we just make her a little princess today by adding a crown. So there's a couple places you can put the bow. You can put it right in front. Um, you can put it right behind which is a good idea. So if I were to use, um, let's say, a clip bow like this, we sell these on our um, website. 
you can just clip it in the back and how about we do that on the side so it's nice this Dolce flip is nice because you've seen in some of our videos they play really rough and um, it stays a lot longer for Dolce because she's such a she's such a tomboy and she plays so rough so we'll put that on her instead of the crown we haven't really brushed her out yet but we can do a quick brush out and for that what I'll do is um, We'll cover her face and I'll spray her with some conditioning spray and spray them and brush them out. Dolce hasn't had her brush out yet, but she's pretty clean. Um, and then we'll brush out the back. We'll brush out her tail. And um, check for visitors. <laughs> um, isn't that lovely? You guys can see this. She has a little visitor here, so we'll just extract the visitor. So it's kind of good we do um, morning brush outs because she always has hitchhikers. Dolce, why do you always have hitchhikers? So here's the Dolce flip on Pinky. We're going to just tie a top knot first. Pinky doesn't have eyebrows, I mean eyelashes, so I don't have to worry about her eyelashes. And then we'll just tie a top knot first. Two. Just to make it comfortable and make sure everything's loose, I'll use the end of my Madden comb, rat tail comb, and I'll loosen these hairs here just to make sure she doesn't pull this out. And then I'll loosen the hair back here by holding, holding the hair and pulling on the ponytail to loosen. Loosen to the left, loosen to the right, and then loosen to the middle. And what we'll do is we'll put the top knot tool right down the middle, come up in front, and we'll grab it, and then we'll pull it through. Like that. It's real easy. Then what we'll do is we're going to take the back and we're going to loosen, loosen the back, tighten, and loosen the back and tighten. We can do that a few times. And this is Pinky. Um, we haven't done our morning brush out, so just make sure she gets the boogies, the eye boogies out of her eyes. And she used to tear stain so badly. You can see the remnants of her tear stains are up here. But um, she's doing real good with this new Korean cut on her face. She gets eye boogies, but um, she hasn't been staining, which is really great. Um, she does get eye boogers. To get the eye boogers out, it's great if you have a little rat tail comb. And that's Pinky's Dolce Flip. To keep the loose hairs from um, falling forward, I'm just going to use a little snap on a, a, a barrette clip. And that's it. We use the Dolce Flip tool. It's, I don't sell it. It's on Amazon. If you go to our website, and um, we have an Amazon link to it. And for little Pinky, we're just going to have to put on a little crown. Actually, we'll take this off. Put the crown instead. And we're going to put it through. 
よ。